My name is Thomas Foster and this is a short tutorial about the new features of Bitwig Studio 3.2. The new EQ+, Plus, the Saturator, a new Apeciator, the Selector modes and a lot more. So have fun! The new EQ Plus is amazing. It's probably the best EQ I ever saw. So you can click here this little icon uh, to make it big and then you see immediately all your frequencies. Just with a simple click you create a first point. It's a bell EQ and you can push the frequency, you can bring it down and you cl can click the second knob here to make it bigger or smaller. Let's listen to this. Up to 30 dBs. Yes, you heard right. 30 dBs, that's amazing. And with the second point here, you can just hear the frequency part that you are pushing. Alright, and we can set as many points as we want. To be honest, maximum 8 points, but I think that's enough, especially as you can use a second EQ+. Plus. And let's make here three small points. And now we can use the shift here to move them right or left. Oh, I love this. And for sure, you can use the modulator to control this. So let's take the simple LFO. And let's go to shift here. And here we are. Oh, that's so cool. So let's see what else we can do. Um, for sure we have the gain, uh, we can change the small display, so if you are on the small display you can change it if you see just 10 dB or 30 dB, but at the moment you are using the uh, big display, you don't need this anymore. And for sure we not just can take the bells, we have, and now look to this, a lot of modes. This was the bell, uh, there are a lot of cut-offs, let's listen to this one here. or to this one. For sure we have the same as high cut with 1p, 4p or 8p. And yes, for sure, we have high shelf and a notch. The next is the saturator. Let's listen to this. We have here a drive. A low pass filter. Then we have here the normalize feature that takes care that the maximum output of the drive is 1. Uh, sounds nice, I think. On the filter, we can control how strong the filter works. We can go up to 6p. And if you want to go much deeper into the sound processing, you can just click this little button here to show the curve editor. And here you have a quiet and a loud signal with a threshold to go much deeper into the sound. Bitwig made some refreshment on the Apeciator. Let's listen to this. We can now control the pitch. For sure we can control the velocity.
and the gate. Let's try that. Okay. We have a lot of new modes. I'm using now three octaves. Normally it would sound like this. But with three octaves, there's a lot of more action. We have chords. We have just up. Down. A lot of up and down modes. Random. Flow. There is blossom up or down and high and down. And lots of cool no new possibilities. And if you start to use the modulator here, then you can go crazy on what you can do. <laughs> there are wonderful new selectors, for example, the Node FX selector. Uh, here we have it, the Node FX selector. I click on the plus and now I want to add the multi node. Um, without the multi node, we have one node with the multi node. We have a lot of nodes, maybe too much nodes. Let's take just three of them uh, the third and the seventh, so it's a minor chord. All right, uh, let's duplicate this. And now I click on the second one to make it active. And we make here now a four. Oh, we keep on the three and make this an eight. Yeah, so you hear the difference, chord one. And here we have chord two. And now let's make a third one with the multi note again. And we go to one, four. And now we go to the eight. We need don't need the changes in the velocity. Hmm, that's not so nice. Maybe we go here to five. That's better. Okay. And now I simply can click which uh, FX chain I want to hear. And for sure I can use the automation or the modulators to change this. Um, but you also have some special notes. If you click on the device, you see here at the moment the mode is manual. And now we change to round robin. So every new note triggers a new patch. There's a lot of fun you can have with this feature. Oh, uh, random is nice. Or you can use key switches, or you can use uh, your modulation wheel or some program changes. So a lot of possibilities. That's the Node FX selector, but we also have an instrument selector. I loaded three different instruments. And now I can simply click which instrument I want to hear, or again, I can do this by random. And for sure, we also have a FX selector where I can put in some audio effects. Uh, 
And there are a lot of small new features. The drum machine offers local audio returns. Spectrum analyzers across the program show the full audio range better. The mixer view now has many displays for some devices. And dropping a sample into a grid patch creates a sampler model with that audio. Tool gained an extra volume control that goes down to silence and so on. So my name is Thomas Foster. Thank you for watching. Always stay creative. Cheers. What if finding the perfect sound loops and samples for your latest production is as easy as finding the perfect hotel for a weekend trip to Berlin, Ibiza or Miami? Now you can. With Mutant, the new online search engine for high quality sounds. Which, despite your favorite hotel, are free, as we don't have to make the bets after you left. You can find everything from modern drum beats to crystal clear percussion, from deep basses. Cool vintage keys and funky brass. Just go to mutant.com, search for the sound you're looking for, listen to your search result, and then immediately download the sound files without a login and guess what? Without a credit card. In addition to a standard text search, you can use the drop down menus and combine them. For example, synth in 128 BPM, guitar G minor, orchestra and cinematic. So, what are you waiting for? Mutant. It's time to make music.